All right, guys, how's everybody doing? I hope you're doing good. I'm doing pretty good. So today we got a few things to go over in game and then most of it's out out of game. Like uh, they really haven't done much in game. So the first thing is the gun has moved. The reason why the gun has moved is because the sunbeam uh, it's landing location is actually within this area, like give or take a couple feet. Um, they released the cords for that on Trello in the bare bones story. And the reason why this is moved besides that is it's actually going to like move and track the sunbeam and then shoot it down. If we were to play the sunbeam uh, effect, it actually still shoots where the gun used to be. So my assumption would be that like it's looking here, the sunbeam comes in and then it moves like this and then shoots it down. So like it charges and then shoots here. So we'll see though. And then uh, some other small, like very small updates is this is green now and they have some lighting. Like there's a spotlight here and there's one there and one there. So they've been updating this a little bit. Uh, besides that, there's not really much. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about is I found this. I don't know how long it's been in the game, but there's hatching enzymes. So what I do know about this is that's not the recipe that's going that it's going to be. The recipe is just a placeholder, and they will change it in the long run. It is there so that way we can actually hatch the sea emperor eggs. That is something that the wikia says. So it's going to be pretty late game and we're going to use it to hatch the uh, sea emperor egg. So that should be really interesting um, to see. And then pretty much everything else is in the Lost River. So I will meet you there. All right, guys. So the first thing in the Lost River is they've actually updated the coral on the skull. And they got rid of that moss that was just like hanging off the side. It is just gone. It's not hanging down or anything. So that is the first thing. And then the second thing is they've been working on the terrain quite a bit. Um, it's pretty simple stuff. Or at least it looks like it's pretty simple stuff. But it probably isn't. So if we come over here, they've actually added some geysers. Now, as of right now, they are not functional geysers. They don't have the smoke and all the effects, but they are here. So here's the first one. It's a smaller one. And then we have a pretty big one here. And they've actually made this look like a river. And over here, and they actually have it like holding the brine in now. It's no longer like a square or flat slab of green just floating there. And the same thing over here, if we come over by this geyser, there's actually a little ledge there holding the brine in as well. So that way it doesn't like have that flatness that it had. And it looks pretty cool. So um, that's pretty much it for the Lost River. But it is going to be part of the next update. So let's go to the Trello boards now. All right, guys, so we're at the Trello boards, and the first thing I want to show you is the Lost River. This is what it's going to eventually look like, and this is in the second part, not by the tree or the skull. Um, so this is what it'll eventually look like. They do have some of this. They have the trees. They've had those for a while. They do have these glowing orb things, and then they do have some of this grass, but it's nowhere near complete like this image here but it is looking pretty awesome and then some things they've been working on um, is the bare bones story they've been working on it a ton and then the really cool things that I've seen is actually precursor stuff they have been working on the still and reinforced suits and right here they have the precursor lab props so they have the precursor lab surgical machine Precursor Lab Specimen Cases, Precursor Lab Microscope, and actually I think, yeah, that is pretty much it uh, for that. But it's been moved to the B-70 Precursor Gun Slash Bones Field. 
So that's pretty cool. Uh, so that's probably the next update. So they're going to probably finish the Precursor Gun and then the Lost River. So I'm really pumped for that. As you guys know, the Lost River is my favorite biome in the game. So for that to be finished, I'm pretty hyped. So they are also working on the Emperor Egg, the Precursor Egg Incubator, and the Thermal Reactor. I think the Thermal Reactor is just the Precursor Base in the lava castle because that base was supposed to be used to uh, uh, build up energy for all the other bases so i'm that's my assumption what that is um otherwise that's pretty much it for the trello there is a video made by awesome crunch he has some screenshots from the developers of some of the teleportation pads in the precursor gun base and a screenshot of the sea emperor eggs if you have not uh, seen his channel go check it out i will try to remember to leave a link in the description uh, he does some nautical videos as well and he is very good at them so do go check him out i'm sure most of you have heard of him but uh go check him out so we do have one thing i want to show you it is a small clip of using the DNA transfuser. All right, guys, so here is a clip of us using a DNA transfuser to get enzymes out of the Sea Emperor. So I don't know if this is going to be implemented into the game. This was about two, three weeks ago. Um, the unfortunate thing is they have not confirmed whether or not the DNA transfuser will be into the game. So... I don't know if this will be possible in the future, but I figured it was worth showing you guys. And for the last thing, uh, they did a live stream of the Sea Emperor baby model and animation. So here we can see the baby uh, Sea Emperor and we can see the face or like the front part of it. You can see like how it looks. Uh, the antennas are a lot smaller than what the Sea Emperor like adult is. There's a lot of detail in the mouth, the eyes, and then we have a shot of its body. So you can actually see like how big its head is compared to the rest of its body compared to an adult sea emperor. Like the head of its body here is almost as big as its body. Um, it's pretty crazy. And then its arms are actually bigger than what the adult is. Uh, like proportional wise like the sea emperor adult the arms are actually pretty small compared to its body where here its arms is almost as long as its torso or what i would at least call its torso the coloring in its tentacles the blue is really cool as well so um that is its body and then the first animation we have of the baby sea emperor here as you can see is it being idle and then we have a slow swim of the baby emperor. And then there is a medium swim. And then we have a kitty swim, which gives it a little more personality and is actually pretty interesting because I don't think they've stuck this much time into an AI of a creature in the game. So, and here's it fast. So it almost looks like it's trying to catch up to like the adult sea emperor. It makes it look pretty cute and just has so much personality. Um, it's almost strange just because of the fact that I don't think there is another creature in Subnautica with this much personality. And as you can see here, there's even a clumsy swim, almost as if it like trips. So it's pretty like, like I said, like there's just so much personality into this creature that you can really tell it's the main focus of the game. And then here we have where it actually yawns. It looks pretty cute doing that. Its eyes even close, its second one and its first one. And then we have where it calls. There is no audio, unfortunately, but so it's like it's calling to the adult sea emperor.
and then this next one's really cute. It's where it actually like scratches its head, almost as if it's like a cat or a puppy. Um, it's pretty interesting to see how how they've made just so much life into this creature. All right, guys, and one last thing before we go. Um, I was looking at this while editing, and I was looking at the background of where the Sea Emperor baby is, and it occurred to me that it may be a sneak peek of what the prison structure is going to be. Now, I could be completely wrong. This could just be a developer room where they put the creatures in to do the animations, and it could be something as simple as that. But what really made me think about it again is in the middle right behind the Sea Emperor There is that little platform and in the concept art there was that little platform on top of The prison that kind of looked like an elevator or a display room So that's kind of what made me just second guess it So let me know what you guys think if this is or if you know whether this is um actually the structure for the prison or if it just is some random room they do their animations in all right guys so that's gonna be it for this video i do hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see future subnautica content that i will be doing and as always guys thank you for watching and i can't wait to see you guys in the next one Alright guys, so, um, we're at the precursor gun here, and if you haven't seen it already, we can actually fire the gun. Um, so, basically how you fire the gun is you go into the council, 